Good morning, my fellow brothers, walking this journey with me, retaining your seed, becoming a soul of light and love in this crazy world that we are in. But guys, we are truly trying to become souls of light and love when we discipline ourselves through semen retention and putting away the dark forces of lust that enslave men and women. And semen retention is a step to break free out of that darkness. Well, good morning, guys. Today is uh, Friday, August 4th, 2023. And I'm going to just make a video. It's going to be a 300-day update video of retaining my seed. Actually, the actual days is 297 days and 22 hours. But it's early in the morning. I've got some time before work, and I want to make this video now. And if I've gone this long retaining my semen, <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to release it in the next couple days. But <clears throat> as a matter of fact, let's talk about that, guys. Um, I don't even think about releasing my semen anymore. And it's not a thought. I remember when I was in my 20s, yes, you're, you got a lot more sex drive and you get a lot more blood flow down there. There's uh, a lot of uh, excitement going on. And so, yeah, you think about it a lot. But when you're older, guys, you don't get the erections, you don't have the blood flow, and you still are attracted to the same things. You just don't have that, I guess I would call it the sex energy inside you guys. So as an older man, I'm 53 now, 297 days might seem like a lot to you guys, but it, it's gone by pretty quick. Um, and it hasn't been that difficult. What has been difficult is battling the attacks from the enemy. The enemy being Satan, his demons, his dark spirits that torture us, they oppress us, they hate us, they want to kill us, and they'll attach themselves to you if you're engaged in dark activities, guys. We've covered this in other videos. But what I want to talk about in this update is my journey 200 and, well, you know, 300 days ago almost was because of a breakup with an ex-girlfriend. And this journey has evolved from retaining my seed to reflecting on my life and wanting to become a master of myself. And semen retention, or chastity, as Christians call it, <clears throat> is one part of it, guys. Because in Christianity, there's seven deadly sins, or seven pillars of darkness. We've covered that in other videos. Lust, which semen retention falls under, is the lust and you can lust over many things, not just fornication or sex. You can lust after money or power as well. Uh, lust, gluttony. Gluttony would be pleasing your body with food or drugs or alcohol or anything else for that matter. Overindulging, guys. Um, there's pride. There's envy. There's laziness. There's wrath. Uh, and I can't remember the other two right now. But guys, so this journey has evolved into me, myself, looking at myself and saying, you know what? I, I was not just a slave to lust. I was a slave to gluttony. And actually, I still am battling that, you guys. Um, I'm battling 
the gluttony part, which is drugs, alcohol, and food. <clears throat> food being eating for pleasure or eating for enjoyment, eating the wrong foods like sugar or processed foods or fast food because it tastes good, right? So I'm battling that and, I, and I'm, I'm making progress, guys. I'm fasting. I'm staying away from processed and junk food. I'm eating healthy stuff. I'm putting good herbs and into my body. And it, I have results. I'm down to 160 pounds on my way to being 5% body fat. So that's my goal, guys, for physically. But the point is here is if you look at your life, as I reflect on mine, I was a slave most of my life to these dark seven deadly sins and, and still am in a way, but battling that and attempting to become a soul of light and love that's free from these dark pillars of darkness, which we just talked about. I'll put a link in the description to the video on the seven deadly sins. So if you want to see what I said more in detail about those, but it's semen retention is battling the lust. You guys retaining your seed because you're not supposed to be out there spilling it. It's only made for, according to Christians, creating life with your wife, one woman. And it's also about overcoming your, basically, guys, you know, overcoming your physical body, your flesh. So that's why the Bible says crucify your flesh, because that is what war is at war against your spirit. We have this cursed flesh that wants to please itself all the time. And when you want to break free of the slavery to those dark, deadly sins, then you have to become disciplined and crucify the flesh so you're not engaging in that darkness and submitting to it and being a slave to it and opening yourself up to the dark side which oppresses you. And once you're a slave to the dark side, guys, it continues. So this 300-day journey has evolved, and now I'm battling my flesh, not just the lust and fornication and looking at the Instagram or other dirty sites on the, on the Internet. No, it's not just that. It's also battling the other weaknesses of the body, which is food addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, other addictions besides lust. Lust is an addiction too. If you're fapping all the time, that's an addiction, you guys. So it's battling these addictions. And this journey to me is if you can crucify your body or discipline your body is a better term, modern term, discipline yourself, the benefits spiritually and physically are great. It's hard to do, but if you can do it, there's a lot of blessings and benefits that come from blessings from God, physical benefits, let me give you an example. If you fast, it's hard to do, guys. Can you? It's hard to fast just 24 hours. But if you're motivated, you can fast. And what happens is you get a lot of physical benefits from that, guys. You, I would say you get more physical benefits from fasting than you do semen retention. So you hear about all these physical benefits from semen retention like testosterone production, uh, attractiveness uh, from other people. But you get these same physical benefits through fasting. 
and I would say even more so because, and I don't want to go into a fasting details, but it burns fat, it increases testosterone, it increases human growth hormone. There's a lot of good things about it, guys. So that's two powerful forces, semen retention and fasting. It's an amazing combination, and your vibration will go through the roof. You will get the attention you want, whether you like it or not. You're going to look good. You're going to feel good. As long as you're not indulging in other dark forces like drug addiction or, you know, drinking alcohol, these things ruin the vibration that you've accumulated, your energy that you've built up. When you smoke marijuana or use drugs or get drunk, it, it destroys that aura that you've created through self-discipline. And then it takes some time to get it back. You have to get back on track and start disciplining yourself again and not engaging in activities to please the flesh because it brings down your soul, your aura. But when you discipline yourself and you abstain from pleasing the flesh, you get these amazing benefits of physical and spiritual. And I guess I'm still on this journey because... I'm discovering a lot of spiritual benefits and I'm sure those will grow more and more. So guys, I don't want to make the video too long, but that's my 300 day update. And so let's end here with first Luke 11 chapter. Yeah. Luke chapter 11, verse nine to 10. And so I tell you, keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. So guys, I am, I am knocking and seeking and asking the Lord to show me my purpose for why he created me and put me here to be in this body, in this world. And I'm praying for you guys. I always pray for my viewers, even though I don't know many of you. I don't think I have a lot of viewers. I, you know, I don't get a lot of views, but I do have a, a group of you guys that I love you guys and I'm praying for you guys because we're in this journey together. We struggle together. We have successes together. And we're bonded by the spirit world. Our spirits are bonded through love, guys. So it's all about love, loving yourself, loving others, and becoming a light, soul of light, by crucifying your flesh and taking out the darkness that's in your soul. Guys, that's it for today. You have a good Friday. We'll talk to you soon.